with the verse list you can compile a set a series of verses you make a list verse list is accessed through the Bible menu option you click Bible and you will see verse list when I click verse list <coughs> excuse me it will tell me what I have and these are my verses verse list that I've saved down here if I want to make one and let's call it uh, we're gonna add we're gonna add and we give it a title I did that at the end of the last video, but we'll give this one a title and we'll just call it um, Red Mare for no good reason. And we will, now that will be, the verse list that I have open has no verses in it. So I'm going to say OK. It's all set. Now as I go through this list of my scriptures that I would searched for and I want to add, I will right click and I will add this verse to my verse list. And then I will continue cycling through looking at the verses or pulling it down from here the verses that I looked at previously and no particular ones I'm just going to add a few to the verse list you would go through those and just choose what works for you that you wanted in your verse list I'm just going to add several because we need some to be able to see what it's like and how a verse list can be used so I'm going to add several just going through this just cycling through these and saying, okay, we'll just add these as if they were, you know, important. Maybe you're, uh, you know, you're going to write something or something to share with someone else and you've gone through and you've searched up verses. They don't all have to come from the same search results because I could do several. I can go back here to search, do a search for, um, let's see. Two words, Lord and hope. See what shows up on my uh, when I search that. It's taking its time. And there it is. We've got 26 verses. I'm going to pull this window up just a little bit. We've got 26 verses that those show up, and I can see those, and I'll say OK, and now that will be in this search, and, and that's what will be in here. and we would just cycle through those and find a couple more to add okay so you can add from whatever search list that you compile it doesn't matter you you well, as long as I keep adding to the verse list it's still happening still being built now I want to look at my verse list so here in the Bible verse list and I open it up all the verses that I've added to the verse list that I called Red Mare are all in here. All of them are there. Now, what do I do with them? Well, there's different options. I can print these out. and If I click this, it will print it. It will send it to my printer. I can copy my search results, which is my verses. I can add verse to the list. I can delete verse from the list. Let's say I wanted to take out... Um, Job 2.6, I click this, yes, delete it, and it's no longer in my verse list now. Also, as you would see, it will display my verse lit, my verses down here as I click on them, so I can read what they are. All right, I can move verses, change their order in the list, and say, well, this one I actually want to be above. I can just move it right up there. So I can move it in whatever order I want. I can reorder all verses by just a biblical, the scriptural order, the canon, canonical order, I guess it says. All right, so I can do all that with it. Now, let's do a copy of my verse, my search results. And as I copy this, it brings up a new window. And this little window gives me options on how to format these for copying them so that then I can paste them into Word or some whatever program I'm using. So you can click on the different formats and see do I like that and again this is all showing up with the Strong's numbers in them because that's the version that I used on my verse list and let's say I don't like that I'm gonna cancel this and I'm gonna cancel here it's not it's saved it's okay but let's say I want to do it in King James so I'm gonna switch to King James now look at my verse list and now they're in King James without the Strong's numbers because I changed that in my Bible view now when I want to append that or copy that, 
I get to choose the different formats here, the ones that give me choices about how it will format. And you can just see the different ones and you pick the one that you like. So let's say I like this one. I can abbreviate the book names or not. I can include the translation name and any character formatting, which will be things like this and this one being in italics. Okay, so when I've got it the way I want it here, I will copy. All right, and I can say OK on this. Now, what do I do with that? Well, if I switch to my word processor and I paste that, <coughs> I now have my verse list in my word processor, and I can do what I want with it. I can work with it. I can edit it. I can make notes for speaking or whatever, writing an article. If I wanted to add something in this, let's say we have this open, and I wanted to do share like anointed. So I clicked on that and it shows up here. And I want to do that. I can select, well, let me show you what I just did. I've got this open in here. I can press my right mouse button and I can select all. Once I select all, I can press my right mouse button again and I can copy that. Or I could paste it into topic notes. It doesn't matter, but let's just copy it. So that was with the right mouse button to select all and then right mouse button to copy. And then I can paste it into my into here very easily. In fact, I can do a right click for paste as well down here at the bottom. Or you can do it, get to it from edit at the top here on your word processor, Microsoft Word or whatever. So there we have, I've pasted that in there. Now I can edit this however I want. I can say, well, I don't need all of this. But, and I can delete that, and I can change stuff, and I can add my comments and my notes. It's really that simple to move something from eSword into Word Processor. That's all you got to do. You have another option. <clears throat> okay, um, before I get to that option, the other option is your editor. Uh, just to finish up on your verse list, whenever you're going to do a new verse list, then you're going to add, you're going to give it a name, we call this one Carl. Who can, I mean, well, let's let's call it um, Cassette. I may already have one on that title. I don't remember. And press update. And now I've got a new verse list. If I want to go back to Red Mare, it's right here. But if I don't change my verse list and I add to it, I'm going to have. I'm going to continue adding verses to it. But if I want a new one, I need to make a new one. Okay. That's my verse list now. The other thing I was going to tell you about was the editor. An editor is over here with the commentaries. You've got an editor button. You press E and it brings up this window. And let's make that big with the E up here. Make it full screen. And what this is, is a place that I can type in um, notes on whatever I want. Now there are different types of notes. I've got topic notes which allows me to do this by a topic. And I can, here are different ones that I have. Say I did this one on uh, purification by fire. This is all some notes that I put together in eSword when I was working on uh, study on refinement purification. And by typing the verses, the verse references using, let's see, it was a, this little he deal here, it makes it like that and then it pops it up and typing the Strong's numbers in this format makes them pop up inside this editor just like they do in the rest of eSword. And you've got all these different uh, editing tools on here that you can use. You can search within the document for something with the binocular tools. You can do a spell check. You've got various tools. It's just a word processor. That's for your topic notes. Your study notes will attach themselves to the particular books of the Bible. So if you wanted to write some study notes for yourself on something from Genesis, you would be doing this and it'd be attached to specifically to Genesis. There are journal notes that you can do by date. Most one I would use is the topic notes and that's the one I've done and you can see I have a, a few different ones that I've done that I worked on while I have it, this screen this way, I can type in here, I can drag something from another one and put in here. 
let's see here this one so I had already copied this I can paste that in here I right clicked and I paste and now I've pasted in here that definition from Brown Drivers Briggs which I previously copied I can copy verses and put them in here really easily let's say I want this verse right click on that verse and just copy verse and it's going to ask me well what format do I want to see that in just like it did before I can copy a verse just that simply and once I copy it I can paste it either into the editor or I can copy it into Word. So I'm going to say copy and I can put it in here just by pasting it right click paste I can also put it the same way it's on the clipboard now I can paste it into here and there's the verse that was my word program so there it is make it big we can see it better and these are the things that I've pasted into here I can space it I can edit this I can change it you know I can delete what parts I want I can change the size the font colors all of that is available to me it's just like a just like a word processing program works like word okay I'm gonna go back to the regular view click in there to deselect the uh, what I had selected all right that's the uh, the main function so if if I wanted to copy several verses right out of here I'm gonna use my left mouse button and hold it down and I'm gonna drag it over to select these verses now I actually don't want the Strong's number so I'm gonna do it from King James so I'm gonna change my tab up here and I'm gonna hold down the left mouse button and drag it over to copy so I can get these verses I'm gonna right click and say copy verses it's gonna ask me how I want it done just like I've like it does be did other times and now I'm gonna choose the one that I like I'm gonna say this one I'm gonna copy that and now I'm gonna switch over to my word processor and I'm gonna paste that in here I can do it through edit or with right click I'm gonna paste and there it is the one that I selected is now pasted in here and I have that verse just the way I wanted it um, from so far what we've covered then is how to navigate in the Bible you pick a book a chapter and then whatever verses you want it displays one chapter at a time in the uh, Bible window you choose whichever version you want if it's not available such as this concordant literal version that I have on here I don't it's not necessarily on yours is only the New Testament but if I wanted to play it's displayed in the Bible in basic English or I wanted this in the JPS version whatever I can switch I can see it in the Septuagint but that doesn't help me a lot because uh, it looks like Greek to me um, one other feature that's really handy and we're gonna, I'm gonna do that I'm gonna enlarge the Bible window because this is what's in, this is where it's a lot easier we have a parallel up here on your Bible versions parallel will put it whichever one you select compare will display on like all the ones that I have on here I don't use that very often but parallel I will use and I will set it up and put it in like whatever version I want to start with you've got to have at least one version to begin with and then the second version let's say I want Stern's complete Jewish Bible and the and then that's all I want to compare those two I'll take on the third one and just say none now I'll have two versions that I compare that run parallel I can make a third or fourth or whatever so let's say I want to see that in um, whatever what's my other one I want to see is the scriptures 1998 version so that I can compare these if I didn't want to see the Strong's I mean not Strong's but the King James but I want to see Stern's and the scriptures I'd have to I can't make none here because it's the first one you have to have one I would change that to Stern's this to the scriptures and then this one to none just whatever you want you, you're free to put those in there however you want you can add different ones and it will run them parallel so you can look at them verse and verses in the different versions it's really that simple the reason I did it over there it'll display it here but in the large one it's easier to read so I'm gonna switch that to just a single one that's the way I like to do it that's the basics of the uh, the program it's got a lot of possibilities and a lot of uh, usable tools and if you have any questions um, let me know I'll be happy to try to answer them